In a couple minutes, Chris Green is going to be baptized. I want to read a little bit about how we do this. Baptism is, of course, part of the history of the church. We read about the Gospels in Acts chapter 2 and Acts 8 and Acts 10. John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And all the country of Judea was going out to him, and all the people of Jerusalem, and they were being baptized him in the Jordan River, confessing their sins. After being baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending as a dove, lighting on him. It's not only part of the history of the church, it's a commandment of Jesus, the disciples to make to make disciples, baptizing them. So baptism fulfills that command. Baptism is a public demonstration of salvation. In Matthew 3, 6, they were, these the folks who were waiting, they were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they confessed their sins. And John says, I baptize you with water for repentance. So baptism is a public demonstration of salvation. So Chris, uh, Chris wants to Make this statement today, follow Christ in baptism. He's going to come and share with, a little bit with you. Well, when, when uh, Pastor Matt was here, it was probably somewhere around 2011 or so, um, it just kind of hit me one day. I, I, I believe I was baptized as an infant, um, but it, it kind of hit me then that uh, I need to do this as a believer. You know. um, so since then, I've, I've just been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And, and yesterday when I was washing up the water trough to, to bring up here because we were going to have another baptism, um, it, uh, I think he just kind of convicted me, saying, quit making excuses. Just do it. I want to read from... Acts uh, chapter 9, uh, start in verse 34. See, so the eunuch answered Philip and said, I ask you, of whom does the prophets say this? Of him, of, of himself or some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning at the scripture, preached Jesus to him. Now as they went down the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, See, Here's water, what hinders me from being baptized? And I want to stress this verse, verse 37. Then Philip said, if you believe with all your heart, you may. Um, you know, there's some misconception that, that uh, once you're baptized, you're saved. That has, that has nothing to do with it. If you, you, are, you, you accept Christ into your heart as your Lord and Savior, and then you, bat, then you get baptized as a symbol of your salvation, as a symbol of your walk with Christ. So, uh, this isn't an overly comfortable thing. I don't really like to, to stand up here and, and talk, even though <laughs> somehow I seem to do it more than, than uh, the average person. But... Um, my, my heart's kind of pounding right now, so let's, let's do this. Okay, well, the tank's over here, and uh, we can just, Chris and I move over there. I'll say a few words, and I'll go back to upon your confession of Christ as your Savior and your desire to follow him, I baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
Thank you all. Happy Father's Day, everyone.